Hi, this is Rick Tesco with Strive Medicare, where every day we're making Medicare simple. Today, I'm covering breaking news important to Medicare beneficiaries, specifically to you folks who may be considering a Medicare Advantage plan as a popular option offering a privatized version of Medicare coverage. Medicare Advantage plans are often billed as an all-in-one option that combines all the parts of Medicare and can offer attractive extra benefits like gym memberships, meals, and rides. Helping the popularity of these plans is that they are being pushed by the likes of Joe Namath and Jimmy Walker. In some cases, they cost nothing and even offer money back on your Part B premium. However, years of widespread dissatisfaction amongst plan holders and providers accepting these plans has led to increased scrutiny. Beneficiaries may need to think twice before opting out of original Medicare and joining these plans. They need to fully understand what they're getting into. The Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General, along with the University of Pennsylvania and the American Health Association have all released reports that took a hard look at these plans. Some of the facts coming as a result are alarming. Many findings from these organizations and their reporting highlight exactly why my team and I hear the same dissatisfaction amongst a large portion of Medicare Advantage plan holders that we talk to. The HHS Inspector General's Office issued their report in April of this year. The HHS OIG study sampled the top 15 MA plans nationally. It found that some MA plans are denying medically necessary claims and pre-authorizations that would normally be covered under original Medicare rules. 13% of prior authorization requests that met Medicare coverage requirements were denied, 18% of claims that met coverage and billing requirements and had already been obtained were denied. 13 and 18% don't sound so bad, but in annually looking at real Medicare beneficiaries, it translates pretty terribly. It means 84,812 beneficiary requests for services, or what is referred to as prior authorizations, were denied, and these were the only ones that they heard about. This is even though prior authorization requests met Medicare coverage rules and would have been approved immediately under original Medicare. The problems don't stop there. 1.5 million payment requests for services these plans allowed a beneficiary to obtain were also denied. This prevents or delays beneficiaries from receiving medically necessary care and could result in death. Guess who is responsible for the bill when this happens, folks? Yes, that's right, you, the beneficiary, not good. The University of Pennsylvania looked at a five-year period between 2014 and 2019. Their report identified $416 million in claims denied, meaning not paid, leaving Medicare beneficiaries like yourself on the hook. 85% were for services and items original Medicare would have covered at 80% or in some cases in full. Their report also identified the most commonly denied services by Medicare Advantage plan carriers. They were labs, oncology procedures, and drug administration. Scary stuff there, folks. In addition, there are all kinds of red flags for the government to address. The federal government paid over $12 billion in excess payments to Medicare Advantage plans in 2020 and projected the figure will only increase in the years to come. Additionally, investigators are probing allegations that some MA plans are billing the Medicare program for patient care based on outdated or irrelevant diagnosis in order to make more money. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services pays Medicare Advantage plans a flat fee regardless of the amount they spend on care. There's a huge potential incentive to deny beneficiaries access to services and deny payments to providers in attempt to increase profits. The findings of these various studies, which you can find in the links of our description below, have drawn intense debate and shed light on a lot of problem areas. What does all this mean for you, the Medicare beneficiary? With rapidly growing enrollment, there has to be a better oversight and more education for Medicare beneficiaries before they get themselves into a plan that they can't get out of and won't pay their doctor bills. 
the HHS and OIG are issuing strong guidance to plan carriers to shape up or ship out. The American Health Association commented that commercial health Medicare health plan abuses must be addressed to protect patients' health. CMS states that oversight is needed to ensure that medical professionals are making the key medical decisions in patient care, not the private carriers or their profit margin. To help protect Medicare beneficiaries, these reports make it evident that there are three things that you must do to hold Medicare Advantage plans accountable. Number one, enhance oversight to claim payments, denials, and appeals. Number two, Ensure providers are making clinical treatment decisions, not the carrier. And number three, provide plan holders with clear, easily accessible information about plan reputation, coverage, and compliance with Medicare guidelines. Medicare is hard to navigate. Maybe after today, you don't feel comfortable choosing or having a Medicare Advantage plan, and that's understandable. My advice to you is that if you're looking at an Advantage plan, make sure you understand the plan fully. Don't just look at office visit co-pays, know your max out of pocket and be sure that you're able to handle this if you have a large unforeseen medical expense. Know the plan star rating. This says a lot about the plan and look for a five star plan. We strive to help people like yourselves to become aware of news around Medicare and how that may impact your retirement. Making Medicare simple is what we do. Reach out today for a free consultation by calling number on the screen or clicking the website link in the description to schedule an appointment with us today. Last but not least, if you haven't already done so, give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel.